The title of this podcast is The Greatest Challenge. I've done some pretty challenging things in my life, and I'm sure you have too. You know, for you, some of those challenges might have been uh, completing your education. It might have been, uh, you know, surviving a very challenging childhood. Um, it could have been, you know, a relationship difficulties, financial hardships, loss uh, of uh, a loved one. Uh, it could have been illness, challenges at work, whatever the case may be, you've probably gone through some pretty significant challenges. Uh, I have too. Uh, the thing that is, has been my greatest challenge has been to be peaceful in the face of all that is going around me. How do I stay peaceful in the face of that? And that requires a non-negotiable, unconditional commitment, declaration, that you're going to work on being peaceful, regardless of how life or people show up. And uh, I've gotten better at it in a lot of areas. And, and, but I'm, I'm never quite there because the minute that you, that at least I think I'm there, life greets me with another opportunity to evaluate if I'm there. And I found that I don't always uh, meet the mark. Which, which is which is great because it shows me another place that I need to do work. And if I can continue to bring the same kind of commitment to being peaceful, even with this new thing that is showing up, then my consciousness gets it, uh, deepens and I'm able to have a more fulfilling life and most important for, most importantly, a peaceful life, really peaceful life. So what does it mean um, to to do this, to be peaceful in the face of what's going on around me? What I've also, what I've learned is, is it's not exactly the situation that, or the person that is the issue. It is my mind or my heart's inability to handle the situation or the person that's in front of me. It's my interpretation of it of what, what my heart makes it, what, what my heart feels about it or my mind makes it mean that it's really the problem. So if I can really uh, become conscious of that, then the consciousness creates this space so that I can choose a different path and that path would, that path would be peace. So if there's a new leader that, uh, that, that comes into my department that I report up to and I have to support their vision, and their vision is different from the previous vision that for whatever reason, along the way, uh, I became very aligned with my reason and my meaning and purpose, or that was uh, that was complementary of, of, of things that I thought were part of our mission and vision. And that became very easy. But when a new leader comes in with a different vision, in the face of that, will I choose to be... Uh, to be uh, resistant to the new vision? Will I judge it as being wrong? Will I judge it as, as it uh, being something that is, um, that is, th that doesn't value previous efforts before they came into that position? Or will I recognize all those things, those, those uh, judgments, those interpretations that I made up Will I allow those to become barriers to me being peaceful? And uh, for a brief period, that's kind of what I did. And then I noticed some suffering. And then I chose a different path. I chose to see that as an opportunity for me to be peaceful in the face of what my mind was saying about it and what my heart was feeling about it. And the same thing goes for relationships. If you're a person who is, who is insecure, don't make it about your partner with what they do or who they talk to or don't talk to. And even if they don't talk to anybody, your mind will make up something 
about other people talking about them, you know, uh, or talking to them. And then that will become a problem for you. You won't get any peace. What you want to be, the place where you want to go is, is I want to be the, pe I want to be peaceful in the face of what my mind is saying about that or in the face of what my partner may or may not do. Because all you want to do is be peaceful. You want to be happy. So if that means that you're able to work through those, so you, you need to work through those things. And if you do do that, that will free you to appreciate all the other things about your partner that you're missing because this is blocking you. You're not, you're not able to see how like incredibly um, personable they are to other people, how they make other people light up, how they illuminate other people and they pour into them. Uh, you will be unable to, to really appreciate, you know, how much them having an opportunity to be fully self-expressed comes back to your relationship and blesses it. You know, so those are some of the things that that, that will definitely be, be some issues for you. And if your partner chooses to go some to 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 end the relationship, uh, to be with someone else, then that's okay too, because that wasn't your main objective was to be with this person. You got to be this person, hopefully, because you have so much love to give and you and you gave that freely. And if they choose to be with someone else, then that allows you to deepen your practice and really demonstrate that your love for them was unconditional. It wasn't just they had to be with you to be loved. And, and, and your peace is not related or associated with what they do or don't do. And what I found is, is when I take this greatest challenge to be peaceful and I work on it, like it's my craft and I'm trying to really become to the level of master with it. When I'm doing that, it means that fear is not present. I'm not anxious. I'm not judging. I'm not worried. But what I am is I'm in the present moment. And when I'm peaceful and not any of those things, I experience beauty and abundance. It's amazing when I make being peaceful at work, my number one job, how much I enjoy being at work, regardless of what we have to do or what we're asked to do, regardless of who shows up, regardless of what staffing numbers are, regardless of whatever the challenge is that day. It's amazing how rewarding the work is. When I'm on the pickleball court and I do that, it absolutely blows me away when I make being peaceful, being a great teammate to other people with my partners or the or the other three people I'm playing with, when I make that the priority, it's amazing how much I enjoy the court. It's phenomenal. No matter how my partner is playing, no matter how I think they should be playing, when I make me being peaceful, me being a good teammate, the number one priority, I have a great time. And that's because it's true in life. When I make enjoying the day, not about what day it is or what's on the agenda or what the weather is going to be like, it's amazing how much I'm able to enjoy the day. This applies to every bit of life. The greatest challenge for me, and perhaps it is for you, is to be peaceful. Work on that. Don't work on it being about what your career aspirate, what, what, me, me, uh, making partner at a certain age or hitting this kind of uh, uh, you know, mark and achievement, having, getting married, how many kids you're going to have, can make it about those things. But then you start to really try to control life, uh, which is impossible. Perhaps even try to manipulate people, which is doesn't bring peace only causes suffering for you and others. And, and if you don't experience those things, it's just a lot of suffering. Either way you either way you look at it. So I encourage you to look at or reevaluate what your greatest challenge is. For me, it's being peaceful. And by taking that on, man, it's been incredibly rewarding. I'm experiencing so many things in abundance. And I think you will too. Thank you.